Okay, so my name is Alicia. I'm doing a documentary on different issues and concerns. Do I have your permission to air your image on various media outlets? Yes. And your name is? Cleus G. Young. Okay, Cleus. Cle 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 G. Young. G. Young. Yes. So when you were on stage today, um, you were saying that we need women. Why, why did you say that and what's the importance? When you talk about the community, and I'm going by the quote that I actually said on stage where if you teach a man, you only teach a man. And when you actually teach a woman, you teach a nation. And for me, when I look at the whole aspect, there's another saying that we have that they say that <laughs> we need men to raise what? Boys, right? And it's good that we have that. So if we talk about the woman, then we need women to raise the children, the girls, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So when you look at this whole concept of what this earth is called, it's called what? Mother Earth. Right. right? right. So who would we need to raise the earth? Not men. The same way you can go out there and say, okay, we need the fathers to raise the boys, mm -hmm. then we need the women to raise the girls. Mm -hmm. And if we look at this earth, it's called Mother Earth, which is a woman. So in order for us to have a better world, we're not going to need men to raise it. Um, we're going to need women, and that's something that I stand by. And it also says that the man is the head of the household, right? Mm -hmm. The man is the head of the household. Listen carefully, because there's a big difference. There's a house and then there's a home. Mm -hmm. A house is just something that has infrastructure. Mm -hmm. A home is somewhere that you actually dwell in. So if you're actually saying that man is the head of a, a household, right, then you're just talking about the infrastructure. Then the man can't be the head of the household and also the head of the home. So that's where the woman comes into play. So for me, I would fully endorse any woman to be in that position where they can actually take the position and transform not only just the home, but also the community. Not only just the community, but you're talking the entire city. Not only just the city, you're talking about the state. Not only just the state, you're talking about the country. And then when you start talking about the country, we're moving now to the continent or the earth itself, which is called what? Mother Earth. And that is something that I'll stand by. And this is what, even though I'm a man, this is one thing that I always have around me. I always have a woman around me. Even when they don't see me with a woman, there's always a woman behind me. My organization is called the Mountain of Miracles, and the acronyms for Mountain of Miracles is what? M-O-M, -M, Mom. And I use that to help me what I'm doing. Yes, I do all these things, but there's aspects in life that when we talk about creating new things, we have to talk about the power of a woman, which a woman is around what? Creation. Who brings forth life? Woman. So for me, even though I'm a man, there's always a woman around me because I need that woman's power to help me to create what I'm doing. And this is something other men need to understand. Stop being so egotistical, right? And I'm not saying, okay, you're not needed. You're needed, but at the same time, we have to look at the relevance of what the community needs or what the home needs or what the planet needs, and the planet actually needs the woman, the powerful woman who could actually help transform this. And then if we're talking about we're African American, let's go to Africa, because Africa is also called what? Mother what? Africa, right? And then if we're talking about the climate, the nature, it's called what? Mother nature, right? So I'm not just saying something out of random. I look at things and I apply it to my life. And I realize that one of the greatest things on earth right now is Mother Nature because it alters the way that we live. And it's called Mother as in what? A woman. So for me, when I endorse a woman, I'm endorsing the creation of a new um, generation. And if you're talking about generation, then you're talking about a child that actually comes from what? A woman, not a man. And let's go back to that, <laughs> that saying which have, they have been using that for so long and using it to belittle women, which is saying that the man is the head of the household, all right? And you can take the house, because what happened now, when you have a house and an infrastructure, 
We're in Philadelphia right now and if you walk around the entire city you'll see all these abandoned buildings that is rotten, right? And that's what houses do. When there's no occupants, they're rotten. They become abandoned. So when you see a man is the head of the household, you're just talking about the infrastructure. If nothing is in that infrastructure, then what's going to happen is going to rotten down. So when you talk about a home now, a home is a place that we dwell, which is where the woman comes in and make that infrastructure into a home for the entire family. So we have to get that understanding and not looking at it and saying, okay, women are in charge. No, we have to look at what is better for the community. And for me, I'll fully endorse that. And that is one of the secrets that I actually use to produce some of the things that I'm producing, which is around creation. Creation comes from woman, right? So if you get that spirit of a woman and attach it to what you're doing, then you're able to create. And for me, I'm never short of creation. Never. I have a whole life ahead of me of things that I already created. Um, now I'm getting ready to produce two children books. Ironically, one of them is called what? The Four Fisher Woman. And there's a secret behind that again, where I'm using the woman. Because the woman is the power of the earth. And we look at the human race and we say, okay, it's not only just in the human race. Let's look at the bees, right? <laughs> Who is the head of the bees? Yeah, the queen. Let's look at the ants, right? Who is the head of that? The queen. And if we go to the lions, right? When the male goes out and find all the food and brings it in, who does he have to bring it into? The female. So look at the nature of how we operate beyond the egotistical aspect of who we are as individual men. And then we'll see the, I'm not talking about solution, I'm talking about cure. A solution is different. A solution is like I have a headache. One solution I could go sleep or I could take some aspirin. Those are a solution. Will the headache really go away? Just for that moment. But if I learn the cure for that headache, it will never come back. And that is the cure to a better nation, if we could get some powerful women in place. Again, my name is Cleus Young, and I'm the author and director of the Mountain of Miracles, which the acronyms are M-O-M. -M. And I keep it that way because I realize the value of a woman. So anywhere that I go, there's always a woman behind me, including the ring that I'm wearing. All right, thank you. Thank you.